And he does. He tries to start a school, and he calls it the School of Bones at first, and it didn't do very well. And uh, so uh, they keep coming to him. They say, we want you to start this school. And so he, he, he says, we have to start this school. It's got to be osteopathy. It's got to be distinctive. It has to have a, a complete difference from allopathic medicine. And uh, there's a doctor, or there's a judge in Adair County, and he keeps coming to AT and says, no, you got to try doing this school again. He said, if you don't do this, this will die with you. You have to teach this to other people. And so this judge challenges him, and that gets him going again. And he has Charles, his son, go down and work with the judge. It takes a couple of years to, to write this charter. And, and they said it would have been a lot easier if it would have been an allopathic school because there were already charters for those. There were no charters for osteopathic schools, so it made it a lot harder to do this charter. And they did an excellent charter, and it's very similar to the ones we use today. And it says... You can see there, improve our present system of surgery, obstetrics, and treatment of diseases. So the American School of Osteopathic Medicine, the American School of Osteopathy is founded. 